Hi friends, uh, welcome to Hive uh, video tutorials. Uh, today's session, uh, I'm going to start with the introduction to Hive and uh, Hive flow architecture diagram, how uh, it will interact with your UI2 Hadoop ecosystem. Okay, let's start with the Hive. What is a Hive? So Hive is a data warehousing software. It's like a uh, database where we can do the historical data analytics okay if we have a huge data database or database data if you want to analyze your data so the data you are storing in a hdfs that's a dfs a distributed file system in a hadoop but there you want to analyze this data so that time requirements we can go for using hive so hive is built for the software only for OLAP. that's online analytics processing not for OLTP so it won't support a transaction processing then it's Hive supports a Hive query language it's like similar to SQL similar to SQL so Hive gives you SQL like interface to query data stored in various databases and file systems that integrate with the Hadoop so majorly whatever the data you are storing in Hadoop historical data that will interact Hive you can interact with your data and you can analyze the data using HQL queries that is Hive queries. So let's start with the introduction architecture. How so in this diagram, this Hive architecture, whenever you are entering queries in UI, UI means any client tool like any command line tool or any open source tools or uh, Ambari view. So in uh, Hadoop cluster, so you can configure Ambari view there, you can. Uh, execute a high queries so you can create a table you can select the data so you can execute a hql queries the sambar view or hu hu also is one of the application where you can uh, use for uh, client client tool for hive so querying hive uh, using hql queries is a standard uh, sql queries so whenever you're writing any queries that will interact with your hive engine as a hive engine that hive engine again it will interact with your execution engine in uh, Tage, that's the default Tage. The Tage will coordinate the whatever the data processing like uh, data uh, processing application request and responses through Yarn. Yarn is a resource manager in Big Data. So there the Yarn will interact with your DFS, that's a uh, HDFS file system, whatever you are storing HDFS file system. Then whatever the request you are getting, the same response will go through like this same whatever you are requesting data again the data will be transferred to like this so an is the resource manager again execution is the page will transfer the data to hive ui so this is the execution process how whenever you are executing any query in ui like any client tool or a browser based tool so that request and responses will go through will pass through all these engines as a hive engine and uh, uh, this, this is the default one and yarn resource manager then hdfs if you look at a low level like a individual engines how it will interact here okay so this is my ui where i'm executing a query see here step one my step one is i'm executing query in my ui for example i'm running query in amba review that query will first send to your driver that's a hive driver that Hive driver will validate and uh, it will send to the compiler to prepare the execution plan. This driver, what this will do? Because driver need to send to compiler saying that I need execution plan. I need a execution plan to run this query. Okay. So the compiler, what this will do? For compiler need to understand whatever you are writing queries, those tables, structures, that's metadata is there or not. So that compiler need all the metadata, right? So that start step getting get metadata from metastore so in hive we will store metadata in metastore so this compiler request to metastore so i need all the metastore information means table uh, columns all the ddl information so that metastore and getting the data to again sending to compiler and compiler will uh, send the plan to driver and the driver will execute the plan on execution engine so this is the sixth step then this execution engine will send that request 
to Hadoop. So thus in Hadoop, in this it will create a job tracker. That's you can see here. Whenever you are executing a job, it will uh, create a job tracker here. Okay. Then that job status again it will send to here. It is a running or progress or fail or success whatever it is. In job tracker, what this Hadoop will do here? Mapper and reducer will create here. And those will send to your uh, uh, where you are storing Hadoop file systems, name node and data nodes, and it will verify the uh, whatever you are requesting the data. It will verify both the name node. It will contain all the files information uh, in Hadoop. Then data nodes, whatever data you are storing, that original data will be stored in data nodes, and it will verify the data whatever you are giving a request based on uh, queries. Then the responses, the responses second will send to your execution engine this is 6.3 here you can see dfs operations okay then data will be sent to your execution engine and then uh, sending the results to again driver and driver will sh show the results in gui so this is the complete uh, step by step process how it will interact whenever you are running any queries in ui like ambar if you are you or any client to like any client to you are accessing through uh, jdbc or odbc driver so that query first executing a query and driver because driver uh, doesn't understand what you are executing so it will send to the compiler so whatever you're writing and asking to prepare a execution plan okay this uh, plan and that compiler again need to understand those tables columns are existing in your metadata or not so again it is requesting to meta store to verify that all the tables and columns are available in your database for whatever you have written on queries and the meta store again will send this metadata the table and columns information to the compiler compiler will send the plan to driver again driver will execute the execution plan and will send to the execution engine so this is the major execution engine hive data application engine where it will send the request to your hadoop through page and the job tracker and uh, will be again tracking all the jobs uh, all the number of uh, requests whatever you're running the queries that mapper and reduces the tasks you can see here task trackers okay individual task mapper task and reducer task and reading the data from your data nodes and name nodes name nodes means whatever your files is available those files information will be stored in your name node it will verify that all the files are available or not then if it is our data is available then it will send to your uh, same 6.3 here you can see the job done then here you can see the fetching the results to your ui then that send results again the status will send to your execution engine so all these operations like session and uh, everything will be available in a yarn resource manager in hardware level whatever you are executing this task so those tasks you can see in the resource manager this yarn resource manager and there how much memory it is utilized uh, and how many requests and uh, sent sent to this engine there you can see that and if any long running uh, jobs also you can see there you can cancel those jobs and fail jobs kill jobs all this you can see in yarn resource manager okay you can see all the yarn resource manager and in ua this request what you can send read and write operations you can read the data on existing uh, data in your hadoop file system or you can write the data for example if you want to load some data into your hadoop you can load using hive so hive we can use for both read and write operations on dfs distributed file system this hdfs files you can store this data that's called read and write operations to hdfs so hive we are using for read and write operations on hadoop and whatever the data is stored that also we, we can use uh, read is nothing but uh, analyzing the data that the historical data analysis you can say uh, creating a reports using sql queries same thing uh, any other reporting tools you can use and uh, you can connect those reporting tools using this high queries and you can 